In The Mouse on the Moon, Leonard Wiberly continues the satirical exploration of politics and human nature initiated in The Mouse That Roared. This sequel carries forward the story of the tiny, fictional European duchy of Fenwick, which previously achieved an improbable victory against the United States. In this novel, Wiberly cleverly weaves themes of ambition, folly, and the absurdities of international relations, all while maintaining a humorous tone. The narrative picks up with Fenwick's leaders, eager to capitalize on their previous success. They aspire to secure their place on the global stage by embarking on an ambitious space program, intending to launch a rocket to the moon. The absurdity of this endeavor is heightened by the limited resources and expertise of Fenwick, underscoring the novel's central theme, that the pursuit of greatness often leads to ludicrous outcomes. Wiberly's portrayal of the duchy is a satire on the nature of small nations trying to assert themselves in a world dominated by superpowers. Fenwick's rulers embody a naive optimism that reflects the disconnect between their aspirations and their capabilities. Wiberly's characters serve as vehicles for humor and critique, particularly through the protagonist, Tully Bascom, an earnest yet bumbling inventor. Tully's ambition to develop a lunar spacecraft mirrors the broader ambitions of Fenwick, and his relentless optimism stands in stark contrast to the absurdity of the situation. The novel's humor often arises from Tully's misadventures, revealing the often ridiculous lengths to which individuals and nations will go to achieve their dreams. The juxtaposition of Tully's earnestness with the farcical events that unfold creates a rich tapestry of comedy that drives the narrative. The plot thickens as Fenwick's plans catch the attention of both the United States and the Soviet Union. Each superpower sees the potential for political gain in the duchy's efforts, leading to a series of comical misunderstandings and manipulations. This external pressure amplifies the absurdity of Fenwick's space ambitions, highlighting the vulnerability of smaller nations caught in the crossfire of global politics. Wiberly adeptly critiques the Cold War mentality, where the actions of superpowers often disregard the realities of smaller states, treating them as pawns in a larger game. As the story unfolds, Wiberly explores the impact of technology and ambition on human relationships. The characters' interactions reveal the fragility of personal connections amidst political maneuvering. Tully's relationship with his wife, who is more grounded and skeptical of their endeavors, adds depth to the narrative. Her perspective serves as a counterbalance to Tully's naive optimism, reflecting the tension between aspiration and reality. This dynamic captures the essence of human experiences, illustrating that individual dreams can become entangled in larger, often absurd, political machinations. The novel culminates in a series of farcical events surrounding the launch of Fenwick spacecraft. The launch, which is intended to be a monumental achievement, devolves into chaos, embodying the overarching theme of the absurdity of ambition. The culmination of the story underscores Wiberly's belief that human efforts, however grand, are often subject to the unpredictable nature of fate. The mishaps serve as a humorous reminder that despite our best intentions, the outcome may not align with our expectations. The Mouse on the Moon ultimately serves as a humorous yet poignant commentary on the nature of ambition, the folly of politics, and the unpredictable nature of human endeavors. Wiberly's satirical lens reveals the absurdities inherent in the pursuit of power and recognition, particularly for those in smaller nations. The interplay between individual aspirations and larger political dynamics creates a rich narrative that resonates beyond its comedic surface. The novel invites readers to reflect on the complexities of human ambition, reminding us that the quest for greatness can often lead to the most ludicrous and unexpected outcomes. Through its engaging characters and witty dialogue, Wiberly crafts a tale that is both entertaining and thought-provoking, highlighting the enduring relevance of his themes in an ever-changing world.